Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do film a doll series called High School Crush. But yeah, now before we get started, after I finish High School Crush, which is probably going to have like three seasons, I will be doing The Good Seed. Um, it's a short story right now on Amazon. This is a shameless plug. So if you want to know what happens in The Good Seed, just go in buy that and read that on Amazon and you will know ahead of time what happens if you don't want to be spoiled just wait until I film it after I wrap high school crush I will be turning high school crush into books I don't know if it's going to be like a traditional story format or a screenplay format um, but yeah so another thing before we get started I want to explain what are the key things I want to do in Roman's room obviously he's a student so I want a desk for him um, but I also want to incorporate this R, which I got from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. I also want to do some wainscoting in his room. And for some reason, because I want to be extra or like just want to waste time, I don't know. I want some stairs in his room for some reason. Um, it's completely crazy because the room's not even going to be that big to accommodate stairs. But somehow it's part of the vision and I'm going to make it work. So those are the three things, the R, the wainscoting, and the stairs. Obviously, since he's a student, he will have a desk. And since it's a bedroom, there's going to be a bed that will also need a chair for the desk and some shelving because I want him to be a smarty and he's going to like read books and stuff. So yeah, let's get started on that. So first things first, I cut down the base for my room out of some foam board. This is a 20 by 30 piece of foam board and so the brand is Ross I get it from Walmart it used to be 88 cents a few months ago and then with inflation it actually went up to 123 but this is about the cheapest foam board I found so the measurements are 14 inches high every every doll room I make is 14 inches high um because dolls are 12 inches high Every room I make is 14 inches tall so that if I need to stack them, I can. And since dolls are 12 inches tall, it gives you two extra inches of head space for filming, which is great. And I made it 18 inches across because um, there is pill and stick tile that comes 12 by 18 inches. And so I figured um, I would just use some of that but i'm not going to make a bottom for it because i want the versatility to be able to move it onto any type of um, flooring i want this side is comes out 12 inches this way but it is also 14 inches high of course um like i said the pill and stick towel is usually 18 by 12 so that works what i'm left over with are two pieces of foam board uh that are six inches wide by 12 inches tall so i'm going to glue those together to make the other wall that way i'm not wasting any of the materials and so this is the only thing from the 20 by 30 inch piece of foam board that is left over and i can make a shelf out of this or do anything with it and i will probably be making a shelf out of this or something so now i have the room base assembled and we're going to start on these stairs before we do the wainscoting because i need to know how much Wayne's coating to cut y'all um, y'all just disregard the noise my mother is cutting grass at this time real random but let's move right along uh, this is how I make stairs I do the grid and then I kind of erase the lines I don't want to keep but basically the rise and run of each step is going to be one inch so um, up one inch and over one inch so I'm gonna kind of darken and then erase the lines I don't need to show you a little bit better so I am just going to cut off those two pieces of course you need two pieces for this but it actually is gonna go in the corner and so you really only need the one piece but I'm gonna do the two pieces just to give it some more evenness and structure so those two pieces are cut out and you'll notice that this is two inches and that's because this is going to be like somewhat of a landing so if the character wants to stand there you know he has room to stand more than just one inch so in order to make the runs of the staircase it's going to be like a short staircase if you haven't gathered that by now 
Um, I made a one by four piece, well two, one by four pieces, and then a two by four piece for the landing. Here I have some contact paper that I'm going to cover the, the runs and the landing with, and the rest of the staircase is going to be white. So I now have those three pieces covered, and I've only covered um, the pieces that I need it to cover because the glue has to have something to adhere to. So keep that in mind whenever you're making this. So as you can see, I did make a mistake. I forgot to add the rises onto here. Some glue there. Um, this part I'm going to cover with some railings. So those will come on tomorrow because I'm going to spray paint them, but it's dark outside, so I can't right now. Um, but for the rises, I'm just going to add some poster board over that to to make it not uh, see-through. Sorry, you guys, my mom is talking like really loud. So I couldn't find my, um, well, I did find my poster boards. They were just under something. So I decided to use foam paper, or I don't know what to call it, it's foam. And I do like how nice it looks. And so I think I'm gonna try to cut a piece of foam to cover this. But the only thing is I was going to use the foam for the wainscoting, so I need to do the wainscoting first and then like come back to this. So I did want to do Roman's room in gray, so the wainscoting is going to be white like the foam paper and that just reduces the amount of painting I have to do. But um, the top of the wall is going to be this nice gray. It has a texture which you can't see on camera, but I'm going to now cover the top of the wall with this. So there's going to be about six inches of wainscoting, and then the rest of the wall is going to be covered with this gray paper. So, um, so applying scrapbook paper to foam board is actually the bane of my existence. So I found the easiest thing to do is to do double stick tape. Um, so that's what I've done, and I'm just going to like put it on there. <laughs> I'm not going to use glue or anything like that. No, just so as you can see, the top part of the wall is done. Um, I've got it as bubbleless as I possibly could, and it's going to have to do. Um, I can't wait till everything is all together. I'm just going to work on the wainscoting now. So now I'm about to work on the wainscoting. This is the foam paper I was telling you guys about. This is a foam paper, um, it's just a sheet of foam. <laughs> it's white, so I don't have to, like I said, do extra painting. And I'm just gonna cut strips and put it onto the wall. Um, I feel it's gonna be better than using foam board because the foam board is a little bit more thick. And also, um, the foam board has like edges you have to cover. So yeah, I'm gonna use this. So I've just drawn the lines and I'm going to cut it out and these are going to be like my little strips for the wainscoting. So I'm just going to start going from the inside corner there and I'm going to use the ruler which is an inch and a half wide to space everything out so it's nice and even. So I neglected to put the baseboarding there so I had to kind of patch this in but then I did it the rest of the way so all I have to do is put the strips on top of that and then I have another strip that's going to go on the baseboardings on the strips like so so yeah hmm, I didn't actually think this through so let me see how I'm going to do this so I decided to do a door for the stairs and I'm running out of foam board, but I want the door to be white and I want to make out of foam board. So I don't have enough to go around like a border of the door. So I'm just gonna cut these pieces there and like make panels. The vibe of the room is traditional because our students or West, what is West? I have no idea. Um, high school crush, the people are like rich a little bit. <laughs> so some old money vibes. Oh, and don't mind my nails, like I did my nails or I just quickly glued these on specifically for the video because my nails are always kind of, you know, ratch. And uh, two of them have popped off already, so yeah. So this is the door. It looks kind of crappy. I'm very tired. Um, it's almost 11 and my bedtime is like at 9 because I'm an old person. <laughs> because I'm a square and I like to sleep. 
um but this is literally for like something to be in the background the door's not even 12 inches it's 10 and a half inches because the wall is only 14 inches tall and then the stairs take up like three inches of height so i couldn't really have like a 12 inch door but this is again just something to have in the background so update um i took my nails off <laughs> yeah i wasn't feeling that but i am going to address the walls right now i wanted to do something like boat oars like maybe he's on the rowing team or those croquet little sticks like in a cross um i don't feel like making it but i'm gonna do it anyways um but i want to see where the bed is gonna go now i already have this bed made but i have like a plain bed too so I don't know if I want like this bed with the wood on it um, or if I want to like go with a different bed. So yeah. So this is the other bed I have and I'm not sure. I have these like desk organizers from Dollar Tree and I'm not sure if I want it like vertical or maybe to do one like this. So he has like um, like a bookshelf but if I do the bookshelf option it would save me uh, for making the bookshelf, I just have to figure out how to attach it to the wall. Here it is with the other bed. Um, so you might be wondering why I would even consider using those mesh things because they're kind of modern. And I said that the house was like traditional. It's because like obviously his parents like designed this room. And so maybe like when it came to shelving, he got like a say in one thing. And it was like these things here so it kind of makes sense that in his room it's a mix of his style and his parents style so I don't know so I'm gonna go with the oars just because it's the easiest thing to make and I've just drawn it onto the foam board I'm gonna cut this part out and then trace it and cut another one out and then paint some stripes on the back with a paint marker so yeah so this is what I have so far. I think the oars look good. Um, I was going to paint the stripes with a black paint pen, but I can't find it. I also have black washi tape that's really thin. That's perfect for stripes that I also cannot find. So I'm just going to use this pen. But yeah, it's very hard for crafters to keep up with stuff. So that is my life. So this is how the oars came out and they look pretty decent for foam. <laughs> um, I would like them to look a little better, but I'll remake them another time perhaps i did this with the mesh desk organizers and i just stacked them so it's actually going to save me a lot of time and energy because i'm so tired <laughs> and also i bought them with the intent of using them in the locker room so now if i don't attach them anywhere i could do that without having to buy more now i'm going to focus on the bed and i'm going to be using gray and white primarily for the bed coverings. So here are my fabric choices. I have this white, which is very sheet-like, um, but I hate this fabric, it rolls so badly. And then I have this, which is another texture. Um, I actually don't like this fabric either. This is a shirt, which is going to be the blanket. And I was thinking this could be like a throw. Um, I kind of want to infuse Roman style in there some. And I'm not quite sure what the style is, but this is, you know, kind of nice and it feels really cozy. But I don't want to use too much of it because I'm making a western room and so I'm going to be using this for my western room. And this is an actual scarf, so. So here you can see I used the um, rolly fabric for the sheets. This is an optional step, but I feel like, you know sheets would really drive it home here I have a pillow which I did minimal sewing to here I have another pillow um, this is actually one of those things that come out of a watch box that the watch goes around so I'm just gonna use that to tie in the black so this is what I have so far it looks really good I think um, I want to do some of those triangle flags on the walls but I'm like so tired right now that I'm just gonna go to bed and <laughs> do it tomorrow and hopefully I'll have some good natural lighting 
because I think it'll look so much better with natural light. But just in case I don't, I'm going to show you a little bit about the room. So I do have some books over there. One is Othello, which is what their class is reading. And the other one is The Good Seed, which here is The Good Seed. I have this available on Amazon. It's only 5,000 words. It's a short story, but after I wrap High School Crush, then I'm going to film this one. Um, I want I wanted more books, obviously, maybe some trophies, but I really don't have everything that I want to go over here. So I just did the laptop and the sunglasses and that's it. <laughs> but but I still think it looks good. Um I would like a lamp too, but I don't have one for his face in particular. I like now as you know I was gonna do a railing for the stairs, but I kind of like it open. I feel like a railing would crowd the space a little bit too much. Um, I really like the stairs, by the way. I like how they came out and how they make the space look a little bit extra nice. I have his shoes right there, um, some more shoes, and a Roman's book sack, which is just a plain black book sack. This, this is actually an earbud case that I got from H&M, and it's really nice. I just glued some straps onto it. I just sewed some straps onto it so it can be a book sack. Um, and then the plant is from Michaels. And I really love this plant. It looks good in any room I do. So yeah. Hi guys, it's about six in the morning. So before I go to work, there's about two things I wanna do in the room and that is to put this up. Now I do have a tutorial on how to make this mirror. This is basically a frame from Hobby Lobby that I it came gold but I put some brown wax to antique it and remember how I was saying that I wanted to like have this be like a traditional home because obviously his mom has decorated this so a good juxtaposition I think is to have this kind of like ornate type of mirror and um I'm gonna put it on this wall because this wall actually does need something and another thing I want to do for this wall is to make like a a rack to hang keys and like your jacket on and everything so i'm gonna do that right now whenever i make these kind of boards i usually use popsicle sticks or something like that but i don't want to have to paint wood um so i'm just gonna use two pieces of foam board but i'm gonna stack them on top of each other to give a little bit of dimension to them and to make it a little bit like slightly more fancy and then after i do that I'm going to put these little hooks on there because this is just what I use for these types of things. I bend out the hooks a little bit and I put it on there. So this is how that came out. Um, the little brown things are um, these. I don't know what you call these. Um, and so I just alternate it like brown thing and then the white thing and the brown thing and then the white thing. And I'm just going to attach it to the wall. So I think the mirror and then the wall hanging is like a very nice addition to the room. Um, it does add that juxtaposition and it does kind of look like a guy's room that his mother like started out decorating. <laughs> um, but he added like his own kind of like flair to it. Another thing I added was this thing here, which I would already made out of some jute rope. Um, you just glue it around in a circle so that kind of softens up the space as well. And I like how it looks. Now, this is not the floor for this. I This just happened to be there. So I need to go and like check out more flooring or to see what kind of floor I'm going to use. But I do like the color of this floor against this room. So I don't know. Um, also, by the door there and there, I might add like a little piece of foam board to kind of just cap that off. So it's about 7.30. I'm actually at Lowe's because it's on the way to work. And so I'm just going to go in and see about the pieces before I go into work. Okay, guys, I'm in the light section, actually. And I think this light is really cool and probably kind of easy to recreate. You would just, like, hang some <laughs> clear beads or something from, like, a black circular disc. And so, yeah, I might recreate that. But that one's also cool. This one too would be actually easy to make because you'll just take like some burlap or something and make it into a circle.
I didn't get anything because the wood ones didn't come in the 12 by 18 only the marble ones did for some reason and the wood I actually liked the last one you can only buy them um, as a box and not singles so that's expensive um, and so I just got this for like an closet island and maybe on the way home I'll go to Home Depot instead and see what they have there. So it's after work. I'm actually at Home Depot right now. And I just wanted to quickly show you this printout. I am going to be doing a, a cafe. And this is the signage for it. So um, yeah, I printed this out at work. I have permission to use the printer. So don't print things out at work if you don't have permission to use the printers and ink and everything. But my work is really nice. I accidentally printed three. So my bad. Yeah, so like I said, I'm actually at Home Depot and I'm going to go and see um, what they have to offer as far as the flooring that I need for Roman's room. You guys, the plants are literally so cute here. I know there is like other um, marble at the other place, but this feels really, really nice. It feels, I don't know if you can hear that. It feels like um, a much more durable like fabric. So while I was at Lowe's, I didn't even think to look at the tiles, which also can come in like 18 by 12 inch. So this is just an example of that. I still would like the wood grain though. So the room for Roman is finally done. I like how it turned out, but I don't think I'll be doing a room anymore because I have a lot of characters and so every character cannot get their own room. So I think what I'm gonna do is like give each character their own bed and perhaps their own wardrobe, their own like personal style. But like an entire room dedicated to a character, I don't think I have the space for or the time for. Now, I can definitely see me utilizing this room for the good seed. So Claire, so the first part of the good seed is gonna take place in Claire's bedroom. So I can see this being Claire's room. And by the way, you can see that this is just the plain shelf I have and it comes out to um, about 11 or almost 12 inches. And I like it, so I couldn't find I couldn't find flooring at Lowe's or Home Depot, so I'm just utilizing the plain wood shelf, which doesn't look bad. It's just not what I was going for, but this looks okay. So just to let you know what I'm talking about, when I say I'm going to do like a bed for each character, this is like not a doll room, but it's um, utilizing the floor. This is why I wanted Roman's room to have its own floor because I'm utilizing this floor for this bedroom. Um, which again, it's not a dull room, it's just a bed, and that is the wall of my own human bedroom, and then I have a nightstand, and then like a crib there, but um, I think it will suffice for each character to have their own bed, or their own bedding, and not like their entire room for each character, because I'm going to run out of space pretty soon, and like I said, it takes time and additional funds to even buy all the supplies and everything, so... I think I'll be going with the bed route. So I definitely think Roman likes this room and I'm so happy for him. Uh, I worked really hard on it. I'm so tired of the fact that I am not going to film the episode for today. I will just film it in the morning. Um, hopefully I'll have better lighting anyways because I did storm very briefly here which you know kind of killed my lighting for today even though this is like the best lighting that I can get and it's pretty good. So what I'm going to do tonight is kind of like flesh out the scene or like have a general summary of what he and Claire, he and Blair are going to talk about in the scene for. Um, so it's going to take place in his bedroom and then her bedroom and it's going to like switch back and forth for the conversation. So yeah, I will probably have that episode four up tomorrow. So just stay tuned for that and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with the high school crush series. Thanks again for watching. Bye.